coming in hot. Welcome to this tutorial. We are moving on to the example E. With the E, we have a larger circle with inner circles and smaller circles within. This is quite simple, so let's quickly deal with it and finish with it. Alright, so the outer circle has a diameter of 120, and we have these inner circles here. Now, since this is 120, this diameter is going to be 100, this is going to be 80. 60, 40, and finally 20. Right, let's start drawing. So, the length of 120 means a radius of 60. So, that's my 60. I'm going to stand here. And draw my circle. Alright, so we are done with the outer one. So let's move on to the inner one. With the inner one, this one is a chain line, so it's long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. Having a diameter of 100, mean radius of 50. So I'm going to measure out 50. Okay, I'm going to do long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. So we have we are done with the second one also. Now the the next two circles are short dashes. So now we're going to open four then short short dash is short Yeah, move on to the next one. Thirty. And also short dashes. Now the next two are thick lines or thick circles. So we have radius of twenty. Next one, videos of ten. So we are done with it. So we need to in, we need to introduce these ten lines in between. 
I'm going to use my T square, my C square. So my T square will aid me to draw the horizontal line. And my C square will aid me to get the vertical line. Alright, so finally, with the inner circles in between, let's count one side. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 circles being shared on an angle of 180. So meaning the angle between the, each of them is going to be 15 degrees. Right? So let's pick up a protractor. We measure out 15 degrees for each. Then we'll mark All right. So this is my protractor. Alright, so I'm going to mark out 15 degrees. So we have 15 here, 30, 45, 60, 75. And back to 90 coming this way coming this way we have 15 30 45 60 75 all right we, we only need to do for only one side then for the other side you can just use a ruler to map it to the other side so we stand here make sure i will go to the center point the will mark on the other side stand here make sure it goes to the center point the remark stand here make sure it goes through the remark stand here make sure it goes through the remark and then stand here make sure it goes through the remark so you have the points for this side too next Go on to this point, make sure it goes through. We mark oh, the wind is disturbing. Right, we have this point to we mark this point to we mark this point to we mark, then finally this point. We also mark. So now we have our point for the inner circles you are going to draw in between, having a diameter of six. So I'm going to measure a radius of three, and I'll draw that quickly. So. That's it. And I'll draw. Alright, so you have this to be our final work for this one. So let's move on to the last one and we are done. I'll see you in our next video.